With millions of podcasts out there, I bet you're wondering, can I create a unique show? And the answer is, yes, you can. There's no one else out there with your perspective on a topic that you want to cover. So with that in mind, here are some tips on how you can create a show that's one of a kind. The first thing to consider is your podcast format. There are lots of podcasts out there that have a host interviewing guests or even co-hosts who banter with each other. And if you wanna do either of those formats, that's fine. What I would consider is to add in different segments to break it up and make it more unique. So some examples could be listeners submitted questions, a lightning round for the guests at the end of each episode, or even bringing on a sponsor to interview them on a topic that's based around your podcast. Something else to consider is the length of your show. So most podcasts are either 30 or 60 minutes long. Maybe you want to consider a show that's 25 minutes long or 45 minutes long. When you incorporate both of these elements, your show is going to be different than anything your listeners have ever heard. The second thing to consider is to really lean into your perspective, whatever that is. So for example, let's say cooking is a topic and your perspective is home cooking reigns supreme or restaurant cooking is far better than anything you can cook at home. Taking the angle where home cooking is great, maybe you can create a show around some equipment that home cooks can use. Or if you wanna take the perspective that restaurant cooking is superior, you can create a show around interviewing different restaurant chefs and some of the techniques that they use to make their food amazing. Don't be afraid to voice your opinion on the show. Your perspective is what's going to make your podcast unique. So the more you can lean into that, the more your show can stand out. The third tip to consider is to look at other shows that are similar to yours and see what hasn't already been covered in your topic or niche. Listen to some of their shows and ask yourself questions like, what else could I have asked the guest myself? Or are there any linger questions I still have after listening to this episode that hasn't been answered? Gathering this information is useful because all of the things that other shows haven't covered, you can use on your own show to help it stand out. Because if you have questions about perspectives on a topic or other questions that haven't been covered on other shows, chances are other listeners do too. Another thing to consider is to narrow down the topic. If you have a broad topic, chances are there are thousands of other shows covering the same topic. So to make it a bit more specific, it'll help your show stand out that much more and attract more listeners. So for example, going back to the cooking topic, how can you make that even more specific? Can it be cooking for kids or even cooking for men who don't know how to use a stove? What are some ways you can narrow down the topic even more so that you can target the right types of people and attract them to your show? The next tip to consider is how you want to change your listener's life after they listen to your show. So do you want to educate them, inspire them, or motivate them to do something after they listen? You want to take your listener on a journey from beginning to end so that you can hopefully change their lives for the better. Going back to the example where you have a show where you're teaching dads who don't know their way around a stove, you're taking them on a journey from beginning to end. So the beginning is where you educate them, teaching them a recipe that's easy enough for them to cook. And by the end, you're going to motivate them to actually make this recipe for their family. Here, you're not only educating your listeners on teaching them a recipe, but you're actually inspiring them and giving them more confidence in and around the kitchen. The last tip to consider is how you can showcase your personality. The point is to be yourself on this show because you're unique and that is what will make your show stand out. So think about how you can incorporate parts of your personality. Maybe you like to tell jokes. And if that fits in with the tone of your podcast, maybe you can tell one or two at the end of every show. Or you can invite an listener on to ask you questions about yourself and have that as part of a featured segment. Something simple like this is a great way for your listeners to get to know you on a deeper level. If you incorporate all of these tips I just mentioned, you'll create a show that's one of a kind. Now, if you need help naming your show, we recently created a video to help you do just that. All you have to do is to click on the link in the show notes or watch the next video.